Hi everyone. I just came on for a short while to remind you to go tell your story. The world is waiting to hear your story. Someone is in a dark corner waiting for your story to pull them out of their corner, of their hole, of their dark place because they need hope and you are the hope that somebody is waiting for. I also just wanted to remind, wanted to invite you to get this book that I'm reading. It's T.D. Jakes, Release Your Anointing, Tapping Into the Power of the Holy Spirit in You. So the Holy Spirit lives in you and because the Holy Spirit lives in you, there's power dwelling on the inside of you. and. T.D. Jakes is talking a lot about manifesting, manifesting the power of the Holy Ghost that dwells in you. And right along, in this season particularly, we've been speaking a lot about manifesting and becoming all that God created you to be. The earth is waiting for the manifestation of sons of God. And I am inviting you to read this book and it's it's important that you find out not just what you're gifted at and not just what you're talented in but what are you anointed to do because when you're anointed to do something there's power there's you you get it you're accessing the power of the holy ghost it's not just your gift or your talent at work but it's the anointing of the holy ghost that is resting on your life and empowering you to do things that people cannot do in the natural so i think that one of our one of our main prayers should be lord what am i anointed to do what am i anointed to do what did you anoint me to do to impact this world and to impact my environment and to impact the sphere of my influence so i just wanted to to read a a short bit about the book so you'll know what it's about it says i believe that we're in the beginning of we're in the beginning stages of the greatest revival the world has ever known in order for us to carry out the plan of god we must realize that divine intervention and not human effort will usher in the end time revival. Christians must know that their lives with God can be full of new experiences every day instead of merely enduring our salvation. We can enjoy the fullness of God, the fullness that God has provided in the Holy Ghost. You need to realize that these gifts and callings were not placed in your life to lie dormant. Only by the power of the Holy Ghost will you see them fulfilled. This book will show you how to meet challenges and realize your full potential. If you apply these practical truths to your life, you will begin to experience a new freshness in God. The plans that you have hoped to fulfill all your life will become reality. Do you long for certain things in God? Do you? Do your sanctified soul still at the thought of doing exploits for God? A sense of destiny causes you to determine, no matter what I must go through, I can and will make it. These truths, on, these truths on the Holy Ghost will take you to high heights and deeper depths of God. Get ready to experience a new joy and power that will change your life and the lives of others. So I just hope that the little about the book is enough to make you want to go read it because it was really really uh, a a powerful book it it spoke so much on the holy ghost and i know sometimes we have so much challenges understanding we have so much challenges understanding who the holy ghost is and 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 understanding the holy ghost in depth and the in the fullness of who he is and we could only understand him if we seek him if we invite him into our lives and we invite him to be present in our everyday lives and the holy ghost is so powerful is it's, it's so powerful in every every believer's life and it is through the power of the holy ghost we could tap into everything that we were created to be and we could really release the anointing that god placed on the inside of us the anointing that is on each of our lives is not there to just stay and lay dormant if 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 we do not manifest and and become all that cre god created us to be and and unfold and 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 just become 
we would have wasted the life that God gave us. We would have wasted the anointing that was going to save somebody else or that was going to help somebody else become who they were created to be. It is important that we release our anointing in this time and in this season and become everything that God created us to be. It is, it is really critical. And I, I pray that somebody finds this book and read it and get everything that I got from it because it truly blessed me and I pray that it truly blesses you and I want to just remind you once more to go tell your story. The will is waiting to hear your story. Bye!